Howdy guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the size settings under the general tab for the cut and plot feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program, yeah, just a reminder, this is a mini series on the cut and plot feature and I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to the um, sizing settings, we're going to simply just hit quickly back into the cut and plot feature, which can be found here on your standard toolbar next to the print button or hit control L to open it. Now, once we open here, as you can remember in the previous videos, we've already set a few of these settings. I'm going to set mine back to, okay, at the moment, once you just hold in list. But I'll leave that for now. So next up, what we're going to do is look at the actual um, job size. So we've set the material size, which is um, what you're going to be printing on. We've set the position of where we want our design to be. And now we can always set the job size. So this will be the actual size of your design. And seeing that most of our design is vector here, if we scale it, we won't have any loss in quality. If you have raster images in here, obviously just make sure that they are high enough quality, otherwise they're gonna be a bit pixelated in the final print. So now under the design, oh, sorry, the job size settings, we've got the horizontal size or the width, and then we've got the height. Then to the right here, we've got proportional scaling, and then we've got fit to media. So now, if uh, you want to use these, uh, you can simply scale this. And as you can see, by default, it is actually setting proportionally. So um, I unfortunately do not know where to um, disable this. So this will adjust this according to um, your, your width and height, or should I say in accordance with each other. So you can set a custom amount in here, which is nice. Sorry. I'm going to do that. It's like 20 or close to 20 at least. Or you can set the percentage if you want to just kind of up it. If it's maybe on a 20% bigger, so forth. And then what you can do is you can just simply just readjust the position of your design. Then another thing we can do is um, fit to media. So what this is going to do is going to try fit your design as close to your material as possible. So if we and it will also keep your proportions relative. So if we say fit to media, you will see it will adjust it accordingly. Just move the position down a bit. So it will try to fit as close as possible. So this is a great one if your design is maybe a bit small. Sometimes your um, design, because you're working on very big materials, can be small like this. And you can simply just go fit to media. And then it will automatically scale it to the right size, which can be quite a quick way to go about adjusting it but if you obviously feel like you need more spacing then rather just set it with the actual percentage here till you find something you like but otherwise that is it on job size if we head here to um, softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find the video you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, and we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.